Guys, located. Uh, so we have a shop location on Notion Road, 19 Notion Road in Ajax. Notion Road in Ajax. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So that's our flyer. You can take one of these as well. We're here every Saturday, Sunday. See what we have here. So our for couches. I like the fact that you guys have it covered. Yeah, yeah. So we just open them when like I someone. Can't, I don't know how to open them because you know the I'm, dust, the wind, the wind. Yeah, yeah and the yeah, breathing on the nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I totally, I totally agree. With Especially you. Oh, these little cakes day. are so cute. Yes. It's like that's all you need with a coffee. Oh, <gasps> ooh, scones. Yes, we got sweet and Those savory scones. Those ones are really good. They look good. The savory ones look amazing. They're actually really good. So you would think like cheddar, you always like, for me, I assume it's salty, mm -hmm. but it's not salty at all. No, no, no. It's awesome. Hey there, Monica from Sweet Bites Bakery. Uh, we are here today at the Brooklyn Farmer's Market. We are at Farmer's Markets all across Durham region. You can check that out on our socials, Sweet Bites Durham. Thank you. Choose whatever one you like. Yeah, you pick. Don't take for a This is so pretty. Oh, look at that. So, where do you get your honey from? So, we have two apiaries. The main one is here in Mortal Station, mm -hmm. a few minutes north from here. Mm -hmm. They're in front of a forest there. And our second apiary is at the back of our swap wards facing the second marsh conservation area. Oh, so nice. We like to keep our bees close to forests. Mm -hmm. They do really well on that nectar and flow that comes from the forest. From the forest. Interesting. So what we do different is that we keep our bees year-round only on their own honey. We never feed them anything. We have a rule when we stop harvesting. Usually it's the last weekend of August. Uh, for the strongest hive, probably the first weekend of September, if the weather is still nice and warm. We keep our honey unpasteurized and we keep it as close as medicinal as possible. Oh, okay. So, which means the bees are treated only outside. They have uh, some parasites that they get, they're mites, and we have to do some treatments for them. We do always outside of the honey nectar, uh, the, uh, the hive. The honey nectar. The honey flow, which means mid, beginning mid-June until mid-end uh, of August, we don't do anything. We just manage that they have enough room so they can store their honey in there. Oh, okay. After our last harvest, end of August, everything that they can forage until the first frost, so beginning of September until whatever that is, beginning of November now, it's for them for the winter. So in October, we have two um, hive waiting 
we check how much and we have a certain expectation on the colony. Mm -hmm. If they don't have enough, we have frames that we haven't harvested well yet. And, and you put it in and yes. that's what they store. And it's exactly. lovely. So which of these honeys would you consider a little bit more milder or sweeter? The summer one. So milder meaning not that strong sweetness and a milder flavor. Yes. So the summer one, what we get mid to end July. Mm -hmm. It's the honey that actually won first place at the Royal Winter Fair last year. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. It's really smooth, really nice, very floral. If you want to try it, that's what we have here and that's what we usually start with. Whereas one month after... Oh, you can put it there. Oh, okay. Okay. No worries. Uh, whereas one month after, at the end of August, and when we stopped harvesting, the fall honey, it's richer. Mm -hmm. And it, the fall honey already starts having some of the minerals and vitamins and the structure that would help the bees survive the winter. Okay, got it. It's very clear. Yes, it is. Yes. Usually the summer one, depending on when we harvest it and how the weather it's been, we have batches that it's crystal clear. You can see through the jar perfectly. We call mm -hmm. it white honey. And it's very uh, rare in our area here in Durham. Oh. We usually get only golden honey and amber sometimes. Brings richness. So this one we're having now is the fall one. Yes, you started with summer, now we're having fall one. Okay, so let's try this. So the fall one is richer and you have to try it twice. So the first one gives you the sweetness and a little bit of the floral flavor. Now, as your taste buds get used with the sweetness, try it a second time so you can feel the aroma. And that would be that richness that bursts into your mouth. Which is very different than the summer one. Yes. Like, so to me, the summer one sort of glided down very smoothly. Exactly. This one coats more. Exactly. Yes, that's the right. fall. That's lovely. Yes. Oh, and, and it's, it's gold nature. and it's golden rock. We literally rock. don't do anything. We just keep each harvest separate. That's great. That's perfect. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to take a, a fall one. and a summer one. And a summer. One. The small ones? Yes, that would be and great. Is it with maple syrup? Use the fall honey. Okay. So, so the fall honey is for the barbecue, for glazing. Exactly. That's really anything good. Anything that goes with the sweet sauce, that's mm -hmm. fall honey. Fall for home. baking, for sweetening anything, it's the fall honey. If you use it fresh, mm -hmm. that would be the summer honey. Goes really well on lemonades, salad dressings, and next to a sticky cheese on a charcuterie board. Yeah, a nice, a nice Stilton or something. Exactly.
I've never seen one that big usually. <laughs> well, that basket on that side is mine. I can't carry both. <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. Thank you so much. Those are great snacks. Oh. It's only at the farmer's market you'll get those young garlics. Yeah, exactly. They're just something new in the last couple of years. It's become a very ornate thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. I'm going to try it. And then I could just like chop them all up and just saute them with some olive oil. Never tried them oh, I've never tried before. scapes before. That would be great. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Got it? <laughs> it's a little snaky. And so how do I prepare the, the scapes? The same way. You can do it in olive oil. You can mm -hmm. um, saute them and then chop them up with the salad or whatever you want. Oh, to okay. Them. Perfect. Give that a whirl. Thank you. sample something <laughs> I'm just in heaven no <laughs> sorry um, 
Can we try the chorizo? Is I, I have. I'm not sampling chorizo. I okay. have Hungarian chabai or the cacciatore. You can try. Uh, okay. uh, chabai but, is very similar. Okay, let me try the ch that one. Spicy or mild? Mild, please. Mild, sure. Just a little piece. Sure, sure. Do you make this all yourself? My my family, my my father and uncles, all butchers. Oh, okay. So this is a, a Durham uh, product. No. I'll, I'll, all the slaughterhouses, everything's in the West End. We live here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. You just prepare like a chorizo, like you saute it and. This is this is already smoked and cured, ready to eat. So you can so just eat. Like, so you can just yeah. eat like that. Yeah. We're all smoked meats. Mm, that's good. I have that. I like that. You want to get one? Yeah. So definitely. they're four dollars each. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. And then this pepper. What do you call it? The pepperette? <laughs> yeah, the skinny ones are pepperettes, yeah. Yeah, so I guess, are they different flavors? Turkey, hot or mild. The original, which is pork, hot or mild in the German Landing Jäger. Smoked pork with red wine, hot or mild. Okay, can I just get a, uh, one of each, I guess? You want uh, the one this, the six for ten? Yeah, that would be So the hot and the mild, all in one bag? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's this is so great. Fun. Crocodile, wow. No, it's okay. I'll So thank you for joining me today. It's always greatly appreciated. If you've liked this video, by all means, hit the like button. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. I'm trying to hit my goal for the year of a thousand subscribers, and I'm falling short. So I would really appreciate some help from you. By all means, hit that subscribe button, join the community, and share your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for joining me. Always greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful day. Ciao for now.